It would appear that it was a trying week for media personality so Mizi because most of the reports trends even on social media are all somehow involving the media personality. So in this video we're going to take a look at Somizi insulting journalists after they inquire about his affairs. We're also going to talk about City Press alleges that Somizi and Mohali are heading for a divorce after one of them cheated and also we're going to talk about Somizi losing his cool after his cooking show is put on ice. Now before we get into the video please do me a huge favor if you are enjoying the content here on Ray Live do give this video a huge thumbs thumbs up it does help out a lot and also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed do hit that red subscribe button hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads with that said hello and welcome to raid live so our first story so Mizi insults journalists amid public outcry so this is after two journalists from different publications tried to give so Mizi the right to reply in two stories pertaining his life so media personality so Mizi Mshongo came under fire over the weekend when he decided to dock two journalists after they each tried to solicit comment from the media personality regarding news articles that they were working on. Now Somizi posted on his Instagram the following and captioned the screenshot as follows. So at City Press has become a tabloid. Okay, two can play the game. To stand a chance to win I don't know what. Dial the number and let Julia know what it feels like to have your privacy invaded and provoked. So the screenshot of the text message history was between Somizi and Julia from City Press, a journalist. Now it seems like the journalist contacted Somizi in an effort to gain clarity on the ongoing rumors about his marriage to Muhalem Dawung Mshongo. Now in the screenshots, the journalist's cell phone number was clearly visible, an act that can be considered as doxing. Now the term doxing comes from the expression dropping dox, which was a revenge tactic used by hackers where they would drop malicious information on a rival. Nowadays, doxing is used to shame or punish people who would rather stay anonymous because of their controversial beliefs or other types of non-mainstream activities. Basically, this is kind of like dropping someone's nudes, you know, without their permission. I, that's what I personally take it as. But moving right along, so Mizi also did the same thing to another journalist, Gabelo Kumalo from Sunday World, who reached out to him to inquire about a tip-off that season two of Dinner at So Mizi's had been allegedly cancelled, pending an outcome of an intellectual property theft claim. Now, so Mizi captioned his screenshot of Kumalo's message, I'm not the one to be bullied especially by the media azisha i'll make you just as famous the blurred part is adult vulgar language now the adult vulgar language in question is somizi's response to the journalist now according to a report filed by sunday world the message actually read as follows i'm going to put it on screen it's a little too vulgar to be reading out you know we got kids kids watching this show but yeah as you can clearly see in addition to labeling the journalist as an abortion survivor somizi insulted both kumalo's parents by making reference to their genitals now, of course, Somizi's conduct has made him the subject of much criticism from journalists and members of the public alike who believe that he could have handled himself just a little bit better. And basically, the public sentiment holds that Somizi should understand that public interest in matters such as his marriage, since he turned his nuptials into a Showmax reality special and the fate of his reality show, considering how many people are actually watching it and enjoying it. So basically, people feel like they are invested and are entitled to know about about these things. As one user on social media wrote, so Mizi and Muhali voluntarily rubbed their marriage slash wedding on our faces. Now that we are genuinely asking fair questions based on what we see, they are fuming over nonsense. I am Abayo Onyasana once and for all, Ra, we are parati inside their marriage now, no turning back. Another user wrote, Muhali and so Mizi urged us to watch their glorious wedding celebration on Showmax to also comment on their trend here on Twitter. Now that things are hard, we must mind our business. Journey. Another celebrity user on social media replied the following, I don't think Somizi is wrong, there are boundaries, respect them, us being public figures does not create grounds for ubawe na uskale, otherwise write your story ungasfai. For me personally, I actually am on the side of the users that believe that Somizi and Muhali invited us to their wedding, they put it on Showmax, you know, wanted it to trend and all of that stuff, so people are invested now, people want to know. And also I would assume that journalists have to do this kind of following up and reaching out for comment and if you don't want to comment you can just ignore the actual question but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about Somizi putting journalist details out on his social media and insulting them after they inquire about his personal affairs 
Our next topic, City Press alleges that Somizi and Muhale are headed for a divorce after one of them reportedly cheated. Now, it does seem that people are convinced that Somizi and Muhale's relationship is going through a rough patch at the moment as South Africa has woken up to yet another story on their alleged divorce and this time from City Press. Now, the article claims that the two are in divorce talks due to Muhale's cheating ways. Now, apparently the man that he cheated with is a married friend of Somizi. Mm, the plot thick now the article reads as follows the guy is married to a woman and has kids that is why somizi did not come out about this because he wanted to be sensitive to protect the guy's young children the guy is also financially powerful so he doesn't want to drag his name and reputation muhale is all over the show but i don't blame him he is young and somizi wanted to get married as he is old uh, the article does not mince words it goes on to say muhale just wants to play he was not ready even a week before the wedding so Mizi wanted to cut off the wedding because he found out that Muhale was cheating but he could not. This is what the sources told City Press. What is that saying about if there is smoke there is fire and you know there has been a lot of smoke as of late and also this is not help with Somizi spending a lot of time with Vusinova. He spent his birthday with Vusinova. He spent his New Year's Eve with Vusinova and Muhale was kind of MIA missing in action and many people were convinced that this is because they were going through a breakup and right now there are rumors pointing to a divorce there are also rumors pointing to a love triangle i suppose only time will tell but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about that particular article by city press alleging that somizi and muhale are headed for a divorce after muhale cheated apparently for the second time our next topic, apparently Somizi has lost his cool after his cooking show is put on ice. So TV personality Somizi Mthongom Daung's cooking show Dinner at Somizi's which is very popular and was also slated to get a second season after the success of the first season has apparently been put on hold. Now Multi-Choice and Mzansi Magic were all set to renew the show with sponsors such as Samsung and Tastic all on board especially with the success of Somizi's cooking book. Now sources at Mnet have told Sunday World that all plans for the second season have come to a screeching halt following the legal battle instituted by Hastings Muweng against Mthongom Daum Somizi as well as legend Mangrele the executive producer and owner of Bar Leader and Multi Choice is taking all of them to court. Now there have been rumors mounting about Muweng's claim suggesting that Somizi and Mangrele stole the concept from him. Now Muweng has said that he has met both of them in person and he has also got email evidence that confirm that he shared his concept document dating back to 2014 as well as in 2017 with Somizi and his executive producer. And according to the latest reports, Muweng and his lawyers have now served Somizi, Mangrele and Multi-Choice with a letter of demand. Now in the demand letters, Muweng wants acknowledgement for his contribution. Muweng also wants to know how much money Mthongo made for the first season of the show and is demanding a share. Now the channel director for local entertainment channels at Mnet, Nomsa Piliso, has distanced the station from the discussion, saying that discussions on season 2 has not been had. And it seems like Somizi lost his cool and wrote the following which I'll put on screen for you to read. It is that inappropriate language that we were talking about earlier. But yeah, that is the gist of that particular story. So do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Somizi losing his cool as his show is put on ice. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.